Now, San Francisco's COVID-19 emergency declaration is also slated to end tomorrow. Lots of people do say that's good news and that it's a sign of progress, but some other people worry about the city's most vulnerable. NBC Barry's Sergio Quintana takes a look. <laughs> Wearing N95 masks and holding signs that read, no body is disposable and keep masks in health care, this small group of residents wants a simple answer from the mayor as San Francisco's pandemic public health order ends tomorrow. We're here to ask the question, what's the plan as the public health emergency ends? Kristen Urquiza is with a group called Marked by COVID. She lost a parent during the pandemic, and since then, she's been advocating for some of the most at-risk residents. She's with a coalition of groups who says lifting every COVID emergency declaration will be a major problem for some residents. We need to just make sure we are communicating, as we did at the beginning of the pandemic, what the plan is to ensure that there's no more displacement, no more evictions, and that people can access essential public services. Among the key protections the group is asking San Francisco to keep in place is eviction protections for those who may be past due on their rent because of COVID-related issues. They're also asking that San Francisco maintain its call-in remote access program for public comments during board and committee meetings. They also want the city to impose universal masking requirements at all medical facilities, including places like Walgreens or CVS. Alyssa Metra says everyone should feel safe while they're at a hospital and standing in line to get their prescriptions. What about someone who's just going in and getting a bag of chips? Should they be masked? Well, I think because it's also a quasi health care setting, yes. The group just delivered their letter to Mayor London Breed's office. Staff said she is not here, but they, of course, will pass along the letter to her. And now they're heading off to talk to some of the supervisors to try to garner support for their efforts. They did briefly talk with Supervisor Raphael Mandelman about their concerns. He did not have a comment for us, saying he hasn't studied their recommendations yet. The full board is currently considering Supervisor Mandelman's measure to discontinue remote access to public comments. They'll vote on that measure during tomorrow's full session. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.